In January 1959, 10 experienced hikers began a hike into the Ural Mountains. The group was led by Igor Dyatlov, a fifth-year student of the Urals Polytechnic Institute in Sverdlovsk, now Ekaterinburg. One hiker, Yuri Yidin, had to leave the group and return early the trip due to health problems. The hikers planned a three-week trip with return planned for February 12. But they didn't show up by that date. However, no one was immediately concerned, they could have been slowed down by weather conditions and treacherous terrain. The hikers didn't arrive back by February 20, and a search party was sent the following day. Rescuers found the group's tent, that had been cut from the inside, and the entrance, slash exit, was still fastened closed. Most of the belongings of the hikers were found inside the tent. The discovered footprints showed that the hikers were in socks or bare feet. There were the remains of a small fire found downhill. Then the four bodies were found, they all had similar minor cuts and bruises, and the cause of their deaths was determined to be hypothermia. The fifth body wasn't discovered until March 5th. He had similar minor wounds and a fractured skull. However, the trauma wasn't serious enough and the cause of death was determined to be hypothermia. Two months later, the bodies of the rest of the group were found. One of the hikers died of hypothermia, but the other three members of the group died from different kind of traumas. It's said that traces of radioactivity were found on their clothes. Here are some theories of what happened to Dyatlov's group. One theory suggests that some of the hikers were double agents transporting radioactive samples for CIA agents. However, something went wrong, and the CIA agents attacked the group. Another theory claims that the group was mistaken for prison fugitives. Monsi, the indigenous people of the region, were suspected as well. Another popular theory says that a UFO scared the group from their tent and is the cause of radiation. It was claimed that mysterious flying spheres had been seen in the area in 1959. The most probable culprit is catabatic or descending wind. This kind of storms is unpredictable and can be extremely violent. It suggested that a bivouac shelter that the hikers had built collapsed leaving the four hikers badly injured. And since the hikers were all the students of Polytechnic Institute, except Semyon Zolotaryov, they could have come into contact with radioactive materials.